guys, it's Jailbreakist. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone using the new release of Snowbreeze Beta. Now, um, today we're going to be jailbreaking 3.1.2, and it supports the iPhone 2G, 3G, the 3GS, but it has to be the non-MC version, the iPod Touch 1G, and 2G. Um, it does not support the um, 3G MC version. Um, so if it's any of the MC ones, it will not work. Okay, and um, second of all, this is the beta version. It's not the full version, which means you will not be able to um, select your own custom boot logo or select a portion size for um, your iPod jailbreak or whatever. Okay, and you guys are going to need to download Snowbreeze. Um, I'll have a link for you guys in the description. And when you download it, um, it'll come in your archive file, so you're just going to need to... Um, extract the files and you're also going to need to download your iPods firmware um, I'll have a link for you guys as well um, so you're just going to need to download 3.1.2 okay so let's get started first of all you guys are going to need to open up Snowbreeze and it's going to tell you this is not the full version and you're going to press OK then you're going to go down to the bottom to the blue arrow and you're going to click next then um, you're going to go in simple mode. As you guys can see, um, the expert mode has been disabled until they fully program it. So once you click on simple mode, then you're going to press the blue arrow again. Then you're going to need to find your firmware. So click the browse button. And in the files that come up, you're going to need to find your 3.1.2 restore firmware. So I found mine. And it will start to process it. This should only take like 20 or 30 seconds to complete. And once it recognizes it, it'll tell you your iPod or iPhone. And um, for iPhones at this step, it'll tell you whether you want to activate it or not. Now, um, I believe activating it is like unlocking it. So if you're like on AT&T, I don't know if you guys want to do this. But once you've made a decision and it's recognized it, you're going to click the blue arrow again. And you're going to need to make custom firmware to restore your iPod or iPhone with to jailbreak it. So when you guys are ready to make your um, custom firmware, you guys are going to click start. And it's going to start to make a custom firmware, as I just said, to restore your iPod or iPhone. And that will be your jailbreak. Now this process does take a little while, so I need to come back to you guys when it is done. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, my firmware has just finished downloading. And when yours is done downloading, you'll get a screen that will have the snowflake and it will say done with the check mark and everything. And um, since it's a beta version, I guess it said it seems to have successfully created your IPSW. Um, you might have some troubles with this, possibly because this is the beta version. <clears throat> but wait till the full release of this um, GUI. And when yours is done, you can just exit out of it. And now it's time to restore your iPod or iPhone with the firmware. So you're going to plug your iPod or iPhone into your computer. And then you can open up iTunes. And on your desktop, you guys will see um, something like Snowbreeze iPod Touch or iPhone 2G firmware. It's a custom firmware you created in there. And that is the firmware we will be restoring with. Okay, and under your iPod summary, you guys are going to go um, onto your main page, your summary. And what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to need to put your cursor over restore, but do not click it yet. And on your keyboard, you guys are going to hold the shift key and then you're going to left click on the restore button. Okay, a bunch of files are going to pop up and now you guys are going to need to find that custom firmware that we created in Snowbreeze. So you're going to scroll down until you guys um, see Snowbreeze, um, iPod Touch or iPhone, um, 2G, whatever, um, the firmware. It'll be custom, it'll have to say Snowbreeze. So double click on that and your iPhone or iPod Touch will begin to restore with that firmware. And I'm going to come back to you guys when this is done, because this can take a little while to complete. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, my iPod has just finished restoring, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, 
This um, will come with a custom integrated boot logo designed by I Hate Snow. I'll get to the snowflake that looks like an apple. And it looks like it comes with a custom plug and tie pins icon. So that's also pretty cool. But when the full version is released, you will be able to select your own custom boot logo. So that's a bonus. So check out their website um, where I give you a download link for it. And check for updates on the full version release. And um, enjoy your open device. Um, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.